How are you guys doing today? I hope you're all doing well. I am so glad to finally be back after such a long time and today I'm bringing you this tutorial for this super cute cherry blossom cottage using the new 1.20 wood. And so without further ado, let's get started. So, like I said, we're going to be using the new 1.20 wood, the cherry blossom wood, and we're going to start by taking that wood and making this 7x5 rectangle onto the ground to make the layout of our build. Once we've got the layout down, we're then going to end up building another 4 blocks up, so that's going to make our walls 5 high in total. I just love that Mojang have added a new wood to the game, especially that it's pink as well. For those of you who don't know, pink is my favourite colour, and so I can't wait to get many more builds out of this and many more uses out of this wood. You will notice at the minute though, it does say acacia every time I use one of the new cherry blossom woods. That's just because I'm filming this pre 1.20 and so I had to use a texture pack, but don't worry. It'll look exactly the same in your game with the new update. Okay, so once you've got our walls down, we're then going to start by texturing them. I've had a couple comments asking me what texturing is and what that means when I've said it in some of my videos before. And I just want to explain it to you really quickly now. It's just basically mixing different types of blocks together to make your walls and your builds just look a little bit nicer than just a solid singular block. For this I've taken the cherry blossom logs, the stripped version, and the cherry blossom planks and just mixing them together. It's not a perfect match, normally you'd want something a little bit more similar to each other, but for this I feel like it works quite nicely. Okay, once you've done our texturing, then we're gonna build the frame. This is something I just love to do to my builds. It's just really nice to add that extra layer of depth to the build, it makes it more interesting, it makes it a little prettier, and it's just something that's become a big part of how I like to do my houses. We're then going to add in these extra little columns in between the build, and we're going to mark out our doors and windows. It's just more to add that details and everything like that. I would like to take this moment though to just say I'm really sorry, I feel like I've kind of abandoned you all, I was off YouTube for a very very long time. For those of you who don't know, I am a university student, I'm only 19, I've had a lot going on recently with uni and assignments, all very stressful, nothing as fun as this. But it's all over now, I finished my first year, which is really exciting and that means I can spend even more time making content and videos for you guys because that's honestly what I really love and so I'm really glad to finally, finally be making a video after all this time. <laughs> Back to the build, I'm getting myself so distracted. We're gonna add in these details. I like using things like trap doors and buttons and signs as you can see. I also really love adding this sort of hobbit hole-esque kind of feel around all my doors and windows. I feel like that's the best way to explain it. It just sort of rounds things off a little bit. When you put in like the stairs in the corners and then round that off with the trap doors, I just think it looks super nice. Also adding in some of those cherry blossom leaves. They are so, so cute. I am really, really excited for this new update. I can't wait for the new sniffer mob as well. He was what I voted for in the mob update. Let me know down below if you're happy with the mob vote or if you wanted one of the other ones. I can't actually remember what the other ones said. That feels like such a long time ago we had the mob vote. I feel like we're in need of a new one already and the update isn't even out just yet. Okay, so we're just adding in those details again, just going around all of our build, filling them in in a really similar way. But yeah, like I said, I'm really sorry it has been so long, but I'm really hoping to come back in full force with a lot, a lot of content for you guys. Hopefully by now I should be posting some shorts and things as well here on YouTube. I also kind of want to dabble in YouTube live a little bit. For those of you who don't know as well, I am also a Twitch streamer over on Twitch. Shameless self promo twitch.tv slash catzel. But I have been considering YouTube live as an option. I actually did a community post. Thank you so much if you responded to that. I really do appreciate it. I just, 
I want to get all the feedback I can from everyone to know what you guys are really want and I really want to have like more little chats and things like this with you all I just feel like it's really helpful for everyone but that was really positive for the poll for the YouTube lives and so I'm definitely thinking about giving that a go and like at least a little bit of a trial run I'll definitely put out more community posts closer to the time when I do that but this is definitely something I want to give a try oh my gosh I keep on getting myself so distracted we're now going to move on to the roof as you can see I'm using the cherry blossom stairs for this one I've also added in this little triangle bit over the door I don't know how to describe that you will have seen me just do it there I just feel like it makes the roof a little bit more interesting than having a plain old flat roof I also do get a ton of questions sometimes about how I do my roofs because a lot of people seem to find them really difficult and really struggle with them but honestly they're really not as hard as they look they can actually make it super simple I think the main thing to remember with your roofs is just use full blocks on the top portion of your roof like you'll see I've gone up one block full block and then up two full blocks and then another one full block so I've only used stairs underneath not on top of my roof this just basically gives you so many more options and makes your roof so much more customizable when it comes to filling it in and then really it's just either going up one or two blocks maybe three if you want a really really high roof just whichever suits the style of your build and you just follow that pattern and then just copy it on the other side and you'll be fine they're really not as difficult as they look i promise i know i was definitely terrified of roofs when i started out building because i haven't been building for the longest time ever and that's why i normally stick to a lot smaller builds like this also because i just think they're really fun and cute to make little houses not always the most practical houses i will admit although you could use this in your survival as a house if you added like a big basement or storage room or something underneath that's always what i tend to do is i make a really cute little house on the surface and then underneath is all the kind of uglier stuff although you can make like cute enchanting rooms cute storage rooms don't get me wrong i just never have space for them in my houses that's that's definitely a problem i need to try and tackle i think is to make more survival friendly houses for this build I chose to fill it in with the cherry blossom leaves it is a cherry blossom cottage I thought it was only fitting that I use the leaves a lot in this build and they're also so so cute the pink is so pretty I will I will not get over that Mojang has given this to us I'm really really happy about it I'd always make like fake cherry blossom trees with like pink walls and glass and finally we have the real thing it's so incredible I can't wait to check out the new biome as well that's super exciting to me because they have all the particle effects as well and I think it's just gonna all look so magical together I'm gonna have to build this house in one of the forests we're then gonna texture a bit with some azalea leaves and moss I just feel like this helps break the pink up a little bit but like I said I love pink pink is definitely my favorite color and I mean I don't know if there is such thing as too much pink but I think this build might have had a little bit too much pink if I just left it or one color and I think the azalea works really nicely it sort of matches those little green flecks in the cherry blossom I think pretty well and the purple flower is also quite a nice touch I think it just adds a little something else to the build by adding the moss as well it also allows me to later you'll see put on like the different flowers on top of my roofs I haven't seen that done a lot by a ton of people but it's something I almost always do in all of my houses because I just I love the plants and the foliage in Minecraft I just think it really makes a build feel truly alive and so why wouldn't I want to add it onto my roof and make my roofs and houses feel a little bit more magical a little bit more fairy like <laughs> we're also adding this little trim on the top of my house and yeah like I said adding in those flowers I try to always choose flowers that really match sort of the vibe of the build so I pick the pink tulips and the lilacs here and I feel like it's also good to have like the varying heights I feel like that helps a lot too sometimes I'll even put grass on top of my builds I didn't for this one but I feel like you definitely could and that would definitely add to it a lot as well especially if you couldn't get as many like cherry blossom leaves and you've got more moss you could definitely have a full mossy roof on this build I think that would look really cool as well actually especially if you don't like pink quite as much as I do that's totally understandable I don't think many people do 
but we're then also going to add some of the glowberries around the edge having things like hanging down from your builds i feel like is such a nice touch and i love the glowberries a lot especially compared to the vines i just think they look so much nicer like the three venus to them and of course the spore blossoms the spore blossoms are super pretty and the particle effects they give off are just so so magical to me i really like creating these builds that sort of have a very fairy magical-esque vibe to them if you couldn't already tell and i feel like this one definitely hits that nail on the head for sure i'm also then adding in the sides to my roof could have definitely done this earlier in the build <laughs> my planning when it comes to builds is not always the best i know what i want to achieve i don't always execute them in the perfect order but we're just adding this in here and we'll like continue to add those birch logs around as well i know so many people are birch haters and i kind of see why the regular old birch logs not the easiest to work with i will give you all that they can be pretty challenging pretty difficult but the stripped ones i feel like they look really nice and especially with this pink wood it's something i'm like really really a fan of at the minute and i feel like i'm definitely going to use this combination a lot we do need to see what other like vlog palettes we can come up with but the cherry blossoms i feel like there's a lot of good ones out there but i feel like birch is going to be such like a classic staple with the cherry blossoms for sure also quick tip i'm putting string underneath the vines not vines the glowberries apologies underneath the glowberries that basically stops them from growing too long so you don't have to trim them constantly you could fix this by turning off your tick speed while turning it to zero but if you're playing in survival that's going to be super impractical for you for one it'll mess with your farming if your farms your crops just will not grow i think it messes with some other functions don't mess with your tick speed <laughs> not if you're playing in survival i only really play in creative so it's less of a problem for me but that's the survival friendly way to fix it because you don't really see the string too much not unless you're looking super close and it just stops them from getting really overgrown which is awesome now on the interior i cannot keep up with my own build at this point <laughs> we're adding in a birch floor and a birch roof i really like them together i mean let me know what you think down in the comments but i i think this is a winning combination this is a pretty small interior by the way like i said not the best at planning my builds here forgive me please i'm also not the greatest at building interiors is why i make them smaller so i don't have like a ton to fill definitely something i need to work on i'd love to bring you guys some bigger houses and builds with better decorated insides but we're just adding in like this middle this little kitchen little flower little cake and some carpet and then we'll add a ladder to go upstairs in a second as well i'd also love to hear you guys' thoughts on this voiceover i'm really enjoying filming it i'm definitely a little bit nervous i'm definitely messing up some words here and there hopefully i'll get better at them if i do them more over time i'd really love to hear you guys thoughts though because normally i don't do these videos with a voiceover i don't know if this is going to be super distracting if it is do let me know i just want to make you guys the best content i possibly can and whatever you guys enjoy more is what we'll go forward with i just thought this is like a little experiment to try to see if maybe this is, gives you better content makes it a little bit more interesting i know the tutorials get long and a bit boring but you guys might find that relaxing i don't know you'll see me go through a bunch of paintings here just trying to get the one i wanted you'll also notice that's not normally in the game um i'm using a resource pack for that i will have it linked in the description below i always put or i try to always put all my shaders and texture packs that i use in the description because i do get a lot of people asking me for that always check the description they should be there ideally i'd love links to them as well rather than have just said their names that'd be really bad if i hadn't linked them now i'm gonna make sure i link them don't worry okay interior done though we're then gonna work on our outside i feel like the outside of builds can be a little bit overlooked sometimes but they are really important guys they are so so important the environment you sit your building makes such a big difference or at least to me it does like it can really make it look unfinished if like you've cleared out this big patch of land you just have your house in the middle and like nothing else around it so always add something to your environment if you can 
please, please, please. And like a path is a super easy way to do this. Maybe the Pogsol might be slightly difficult for you to get, but honestly, this could work with like stone, cobblestone as well, but like the paths and the quiz do it shouldn't be too difficult. I also like adding it around my corners. This is sort of a thing I picked up from Sims Builders, weirdly enough. I'm a bit of a Sims 4 fan. I like playing that in my free time. And one thing they always do is they always take that like Sims paint, like the floor paint, and paint around the edge of their builds to make it look like the house has been there a while. And it's something I've always liked to try and adopt in a Minecraft kind of way, and so I always do it around the corners of my builds. I think it looks kind of nice if that's not your vibe. Totally get that, just sort of leave that bit out. That is fine. But we're also shoving a bunch of grass around the place and some plants. My number one thing, if you take anything away from this vid, is please, please don't bone mill the ground. Especially not for the flowers. If you can, please place things by hand. It just looks so much better, so much nicer. Bone mill does not do the flowers and everything justice. Because I always like to do flowers as well that are very specific to my build. And the bone mill just, it doesn't, it doesn't give that to you. It just doesn't. But, top tip, for the tall flowers, if you bone mill directly on the tall flowers, it should give you another one of that same flower. I know for a fact it works with the roses. In fairness, I haven't tested it with the lilacs. I'm pretty sure it works. Someone let me know if it doesn't. Apologies if it doesn't, but I'm pretty sure it does. But we're just adding all this grass and stuff around. You've also seen I've added a couple of those cherry blossom leaves just to make like little cherry blossom bushes. I'm not sure that exists in real life, but it's Minecraft. We also fed the bee there because we love the bees. This would be a super cute build to actually have like a little bee's nest and a couple of those around the place, I think would also be really nice. I think the bees would like this house as well. And then we're gonna add in some stone buttons. These kind of look like pebbles to me. I think they look like pebbles at least. A lot of other builders seem to use them for a similar purpose. It's just nice little details like this that just like finish off the build, make them look really put together. And then we're gonna end with some fences and some lanterns. They'll light up our house a little bit, keep the mobs away. And then we're practically done. I just want to say thank you so much for watching through this video, I really appreciate that. Please let me know in the comments how you feel about this kind of voiceover, and any feedback would be super appreciated. But thank you so much, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time, goodbye!